Welcome back everyone. We got the new tow rig in action here. I've already put about 2,000 miles on it between it coming back up to New York with me or my parents drove it up to New York for me I should say and then driving all the way back down here to Georgia for our motorcycle trip. Just an XLT F250 Godzilla where this is our first video on the towing performance. I am towing about 5,500 pounds right now. I probably have 500 pounds in the bed. So we're gonna call it 5,500 given what I've scaled this trailer out before and the load that it has. Right now we are averaging 10.1. I averaged like 9.9 uh, with the other trailer setup. Um, we've been going a little slower here just because the highway has been a lot of traffic and stuff, but we've been going 70, 75 and then dropping down to like 60, 65 when there's traffic. But uh, so far so good. Um, there's a little bit of empty miles in this tank. So we're probably actually, let's look at our last 30 minutes is 8.4. We are climbing an elevation as well for the last 30 minutes. So that might be part of that. Uh, four to 8,000 and 7,000 pounds, maybe somewhere in that range, depending on the air profile, you're going to get somewhere in the range of probably eight to 10 just depending on how fast you're going, how hilly it is, all that kind of stuff. Um, which isn't amazing, but I will tell you this, my my 05 on 89 octane, which I had to run really 91 technically, but I was running 89 with the LQ9 six liter that I had in it. It would ping even with 89 a little bit. So I was pushing it on octane on the downside and that thing would get seven to seven and a half taking it easy towing the camper so this is even even if i get the exact same mileage i'm still doing better and if i get better mileage then i'm really doing better because now i'm you know increasing the differential and the gas cost and fuel economy um which is awesome so so far it's definitely been noticeably cheaper for me to run this rig than the half ton per on a per mile basis for fuel a little bit of a grade here. You can see that we're, you know, we got her into sixth. Not a crazy grade. Pulling behind my buddy here. Um, but, you know, it does need, it's, it needs RPM, right? It's still a gas engine. It's a huge gas engine, but it needs RPM. But, man, there is torque for days below 3,000. Like, the thing just chugs along. No problem. So now we're in, like, eighth gear in the flatlands, just going 60. I mean, we're at 1,800 RPM, like. How do you beat that, dude? Towing a trailer. It's amazing. Towing, you know, these kind of what I'll call reasonable loads. And it just kind of puts along. And if you're not in a hurry going up the hills, you can easily keep it in 7th through 10th. And never even touch 6th gear other than maybe the biggest, biggest hills. I was used 6th a few times yesterday on the 7 percenters. Towing a 7 percent grade. Let's see how she does. I have a Tesla off the side of the road. Oof. So we're in 6th. Cranking about 3,100 RPM. We are losing a little bit of speed, so if we're gonna wanna hold this, we're gonna have to bump this up down into fifth. Eh, maybe not. We're holding. <clears throat> it's a real steep hill. We're out over, kinda heading toward Asheville, North Carolina on 26. But she's cruising no problem. I've actually towed this camper with my half ton up this hill. And it was a second gear party. So when that happens, you know, it's a big hill. And then like fifth, if you want to pass somebody on a hill, fourth, if you just want to race up the thing, that's going to be full throttle. But really sixth is the bare minimum. There's a lot of power in sixth for this heavy of a trailer. If you got something a little heavier, you know, you're going to do fifth or fourth. This is a 2022, so it has a 355 rear end. For what I'm doing, that's totally fine. If you're towing something heavier, you might want to look into 430 or even the 373s. But for me, this is perfect. I actually prefer the higher rear end to give me maybe a speck of fuel economy on the highway. Um, empty. But uh, it also pulls a camper in 10th fairly often to where I don't feel like I'm way under geared for what I'm doing with it. So yeah, I mean, so far the towing performance is obviously worlds better than a four-speed transmission 2005 Silverado, even with that bigger motor. This has a lot more power. It's got a lot more gears. I knew it'd be better. It is... It is just a completely different experience towing. I mean, obviously the stability is a little bit better, although that half ton did a great job, I will say. I never felt unstable on that thing towing this camper. Like, it was perfectly fine. I felt safe. I felt like the brakes were good enough. Not overkill, but they were good enough. 
That would be my one slight complaint. The brakes were a little sh- crappy for a little bit heavier trailer. Um, but they're fine. And then the, the, the biggest thing is though, the freaking gears, man, that four speed just, you know, you're, you're, you're cruising along in third gear, trying to float the hills a little bit. Cause if you need second, the penalty for going into second is just, it's huge. This is just a very comfortable, very, very comfortable amount of weight to tow with this. I mean, if you want what I'll call like empty driving performance while towing, this is without a diesel as close as you're going to get to that, I think. And, and it feels great. Um, would I hook up two, three, four thousand more pounds and expect it to tow kind of as comfortably as it does now? I would actually say yes. I mean, obviously, it'd grab a couple lower gears here and there, but this is just such a good towing experience. I don't think two, three, four thousand pounds would make it much worse to where it would still kind of fall in that category of like tows like there's nothing behind it. And I hate to use that terminology because you clearly have a trailer behind you, but just really where it's the truck is not that affected by the load because it's got enough power and stability and everything else um i think if you want to tow 12 13 14 thousand pounds very easily then you got to step into the diesel because you're going to start this thing will do it just fine but you're going to be tacking it out right you're going to rev it to the four or five thousand rpm mark just to keep things moving up hills if you choose to go up a hill more quickly um which I just have a high standard. I, I like getting places. So I want to be able to go up hills at 70, 75. That is completely not everybody's expectation and frankly shouldn't be because that's just not necessarily needed if you're towing 40,000 pounds, right? Like if you got to slow down a little bit up a hill, you slow down a little bit. So I get that that's not always the case for everyone, but I just like being able to do that. And this truck really allows me to do that anywhere in America. I can just blast up the hill at highway speeds as if I'm not towing. And that's just convenient. I, I'm paying a little extra money and have a little bit bigger equipment for the convenience, right? And I'm okay with that. Um, if you don't want to do that, I totally get it because it's kind of a waste of money, I guess. So uh, just get a half, get a properly equipped half ton and, and you'll be just fine. And they have a lot of power now too. So really, you're going to have more power, frankly, in that well-equipped half ton. All right, so we're in the mountains now. We're going downhill. The great braking is working really good. Um, I mean, it's easily holding 50, 55 at under 3,000 RPM, so if I had a lot heavier trailer, the engine would rev out more, but it definitely would be able to hold it, which is nice. And I'm easily holding 55, which is a good speed for this. All right, so we're going down a seven percenter. Six gear, easily holding uh, about 67 miles an hour. We're up to 71 now, actually. But uh, yeah, no problem. Not even remotely out of control. Just kind of cruising at 3,100 RPM, 32-ish. I actually bring her back down a little bit. We're hovering right around 71. Oh, now it's coming down into the back into the 60s. So you can see that it's really got no issues whatsoever, even on these steep downhill grades, holding back a trailer this small. And I mean, just based on how it feels, if you're willing to let the RPMs run up. I can't imagine it would easily hold back a you know, 12, 13, 14,000 pound camper without too much issue. Now, if you had a 13,000 pound like dump trailer, something without an air profile, I could see where that might become a bit of an issue, um, you know, in, in, in holding it back. But for this, it's no problem at all. Anyway, we'll cut this one off here. We'll have a ton more videos on this. It's about 10 minutes, me just talking about this thing. So I'll get you some more video and uh, yeah. As always, thanks for watching. God bless America, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.